the 64th game as Banjo Kazooie walkthrough part 15. Let's finish this level! Alright, what is up everybody? So last time we did more crap here in Dobie's Valley. And now we're going to f get the last, was it? Seven items here in Dobie's Valley. So you, you want to fly over here. Smash Dobie's back. And then mistreat him like crazy, cause he sucks like he always does. Get the remaining five notes of the level, grab the SMD honeycomb, and screw the demon dish. <laughs> Dang it, I got hit. But who cares? <laughs> Bruntilda can restore our health. So. Yeah, so never mind that part there. Never mind that part. I knew I could have just took that carpet. I knew I could have waited for it, but I really did not feel like it. Wow. I I'd pro I wasn't wasting any red feathers, right? If not, good. Let's go ahead and get Trunker's Jiggy. Just let's just steal his Jiggy like a good boy. Well, technically we earned his Jiggy, but whatever. All right, that's it for this level. We won't have to come back here ever again. I promise. And since we're coming out of the level without being at full health, we Bruntilda. Will do something nice for us. I bet you already know what it is, because I'll probably already mention it. After you read her jokes, you can just press B to skip the joke if you're bored. And then, after you read all of her jokes, she will restore your health. Ain't that pretty? Thank you, Bruntilda. You're really nice. So, again, dang the fifth floor frame rate. So let's head up to the sixth floor where, where there's not screwed up frame rate. But trust me, there's gonna be even more screwed up frame rate when we play, when I do a walkthrough on the sequel. Yes. Shut up, Gruntilda. You are a worthless piece of crap. That's what you are. More. And there's the opening to the desert world, even though we already opened the desert world, and yada yada yada. And here, I was trying to be careful not to land in the lava as seen on the bottom right of the screen, which now it's gone. So tough luck for you if you wanted to see that. You cannot. And before. Before we enter the seventh level, Mad Monster Mansion, we're going to do some crap. Like, open this gate. Now, you actually have to open this gate in order to progress through the game. Make sure you open that gate. Crap, I got hit. Screw the hit detection in this game. Just screw the hit detection. And then an empty, not empty honeycomb, a regular honeycomb. You got red feathers over here, which could help us for the next level, at least one part. And then we get an extra life, which is really helpful in a lot of occasions. So that you prevent game over. Alright, so another part of Man Monster Mansion that could lead to something very important later. You will get my point whenever we get there. I would not recommend stealing help from that <laughs> honey hive. It's just not recommended. 
and then I've all my times of playing this game I never knew well prior to this I never knew that there was a that Bruntilda hit here and prior to this run playthrough so yeah I'm a rough rider deluxe so enough jokes from her are not really that funny anymore <sighs> I used to, f I remember playing, first playing this game, and I thought Brad Zelda's jokes were so funny, I f and I thought you only had to read one of them, I mean, yeah, and before you enter the level, I would recommend grabbing as many red feathers and blue heads as you can, and if possible, golden feathers, because that will definitely help you a bunch. For what's coming up ahead, you definitely want the golden feathers. And ha 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 ha! I'm going to end off this episode here. Ma ha ha ha! Stay tuned.